Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Jai Shri Ram Classes for SSLC. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Please support me. Today I am going to tell about the social science question paper of 2023 as a CBS only. In last class we have solved mathematics paper, now social science paper. So let's move to the question. Session A, multiple choice of questions as you know. Now first one, match the following attributes of Algoria of Germania with its significance and choose the correct option. They have given here attributes, means the German words they have given. We have to say the meanings of it, which comes in history itself. So the broken chains means being free as we all know. Broken chains, common word. So here uh, we have fourth option in the option B which matches correctly. So our answer will be option B itself because we have got it correct answer here. Why? Because only four option four is there in the option B itself where we none of the others have anything here. None of the questions, none of the options have four. A. Right. Then this will be our right answer. We need not to solve other questions only. If we know one answer correctly, then we can eliminate A, B, C or whichever we don't have, we can eliminate it and we can write the correct option easily. So, to use this trick as much as possible in these options like these options. So, it will save your time and you can write more answers also. Okay. We will move to next. It is understood. Right? Breastplate with eagle means strength. They have given him strength. Means eagle moves with the full of strength. It flies in the sky, right? So that is the strength. Crown of oak leaves. Crown. Crown means where walking walls, right? That means heroism only. Sword means readiness to fight. Sword means it is like what Khatti we say na in Canada, like that. It is a weapon used in used to fight. So that means readiness to fight. Okay, we move to next. Which one of the following aspects was common between the writing of the B. R. Ambedkar and E. V. Ramaswamy Naikar? So this two peoples were writing some articles right in their articles what was the common thing or topic about they were writing right then let's see option right sorry wrote on caste system in india highlighted the experiences of women raised awareness about the cultural heritage motivated indians for their national freedom they wrote on a caste system in India. How was the caste system at that time? They were writing about that because Ambedkar was from the lower class family, right? That time he has faced many problems, revolts like that by the upper caste people. So he was writing more about the caste system only. In India is mixed of castes, not only one, there are many castes because India is a sovereign country. That's why we have freedom to celebrate anything, anything. We have freedom to launch our uh, religion, everything we have freedom, even in the religion also. So more they were writing about the caste system. Here the option A is the right answer. Okay. Option A is the right answer. Okay. Next question. Here it leads up. Who of the following set up of first iron and steel industry in India? Who set up that itself? Because they were the first who founded the iron and the steel industry in India. We all know. So option A is the right answer. Without uh, reading other options, we can say it. 
easily because it is a famous industry in India. Tata, right? So it will be easy. Easy question. Okay, next we'll move to next question. Arrange the following in the chronological order and choose the correct option. Here they have given some sentences. We have to arrange them in the order because they have given in the shuffled order. So we have to arrange first which questions comes, second which one comes. Like that we have to uh, do it. First we will read all the questions first. The Britain Woods Conference established in the International Monetary Fund. The Second World War broke out between the Axis and Allied groups. A car manufacturer, Henry Ford, adopted the assembly line method for production. The Western economics organized themselves as a group, the group of 77. Here we know first... A car manufacturer, Henry Ford, adopted the assembly line method for production. This was the first sentence. And here we will see where is the T option. It is in the first A itself. So A will be our right answer. As we know, if we know one sentence correctly, we can save our time as, a, as it. And next, what will come? Next sentence. The Second World War broke out between the Axis and Allied groups. Yes, it is correct. And next option comes the Britain Woods Conference established the International Monetary Fund. Okay, the Western economics organized themselves as a group. The group of 77 Western economics with in Western countries had made them oneself one group and named that group as the Group of 77. So this will be our right option. Option A. Next question. Identify the crop with the help of the following information and choose the correct option. Here they have given some characteristics of one crop which we have to find which crop is that. First we will read it. This is the second most important cereal crop. This is a rabbit crop. And we know rabbit crop is grown from October to March. Okay, It requires cool growing season and bright sunshine at the time of the ripening. Yeah, means first starting we'll have winter season. In the no, November, December we have winter season. Near to the March we have started, uh, not we have started, summer season starts. The summer season start means so this condition source for rabbit crop. They have only mentioned it and the rainfall, it requires the rainfall about 50 to 75 centimeter. Here we can see it in the winter season, some rainfall. Okay, in the, that condition, which crops we grow here, they have mentioned rabbit crop. From this, only we can find which is the answer that will be wheat because wheat is the rabbit crop. Maize, rice, and sugar cane are karif crops which have grown from July to June to October. So, our answer we got quickly. That is wheat. If you know one thing, so I suggest you guys to study the karif crop and rabi crops. Which all crops comes under rabi crop and karif crop? Then it will be easy to write in exams also. Okay, next question. Sixth. In which of the following states Tungabhadra Dam is located? In geography, we have studied it. Tungabhadra flows from Western Ghat, from Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, and Telangana. In Western Ghats is originate and it is the tributary of Krishna River. So, where this Tungabhadra Dam is located? It is obviously located in the Karnataka because it originates there only, where it originates. There only the dam is itself. So right answer will be Karnataka. From Andhra it flows. Kerala and Tamil Nadu doesn't have any connection here. So our right answer is option D Karnataka. And the next question. 
which of the following pair is correctly matched first they have given soils type of soils alluvial soil is gangetic plain they have given yeah it is correct black soil himalayan region they have given but in himalayan region we have mountainian soil we don't doesn't find black soil we find black soil in the deccan region that is near western ghats okay then the option b is the wrong answer in arid soil arid soil means desert soil this is a sand type of soil sand type of soil we found in the desert area not in the western ghats we found western ghats as black soil and even red red, red soil is also found in the western ghats so option b c d are also wrong option a is the right answer so this will be our answer alluvial soil gangetic plain is the correct answer correctly paired okay which one of the following countries has the highest life expectancy at the birth which country we have life expectancy it is bangladesh why because there is decrease in both infancy and child mortality rate so deaths of children are less and even infant when the baby is in the womb killing of that baby is also less so bangladesh has life expectancy more in that case okay that is option b bangladesh now next question which one of the following organization is providing data regarding employment in india which which organization there are many organizations in india for every each and every work okay each and every organization report about one word thing what is going in india all over india so here they have asked providing data regarding employment means how much people have employment employed and how much are not employed that is given by national statistical office okay national statistical office niti ayog gives report means it sees about adaptation and monitoring of the sdgs in the country and promotes competitive and cooperative federalism among the states and the uts means it is making a communication between uts and the states it sees what all happening between uts and the state what is missing in the communication what should be improved and all it takes and it next a national informatics center gives information about information and communication technology and e governance support to the central government okay as we all know this is not common thing only public service commission means so many jobs related it gives more job vacancies like in upsc it is union public service commission in state it will be state public service commission like that service it uh, service to the country or the state so it reports on that job name is job notification we get and for this question the correct answer is national statistical office okay i hope you all got the information about the other options also if you need more drop a comment definitely i'll answer it if i don't know i'll search it and i'll convey you next question which one of the following is a major benefit to mnc when it works on joint production with local company option a mnc shares its latest technology with a local company mnc decides all parameters and prices of the products mnc shares the its in constitutional policy and with local company mnc built good and familiar relations with the local company okay 
these are the options they have given which is a correct about mnc company major benefit okay what these multinational companies do means when they take a joint production with local company they only decide the prices in all parameters also other perspectives like how much quantity quality everything it only decides local company doesn't have any rights to decide what it wants only mnc companies means multinational company only decides all parameters and price of the production product sorry product means here all parameters means the transport uh, and uh, tolls prices and how much product should be produced and how much it should be produced and how much it should be exported and how much things to be imported everything everything the mnc company will only decide it no other uh, rights has for local company it should do only what the mnc company says in the joint production so here our option will be option b mnc decides all parameters prices of the product and prices of the products this is the right answer okay next question which one of the following pair is correctly matched so they have given here sectors primary sector secondary sector tertiary sector and quaternary structure which structure is correct here we have to decide and correct answer we have to mark it okay which first we'll read out once primary sector fisherman secondary sector priest tertiary sector basket weaver quaternary sector gardener here primary sector fisherman it is obviously no so we know that option a is the right answer because they are the first who takes the fishes from the sea or the lakes right so their main uh, only uh, means to give it for the shop so first they should take the fishes from the water right any water could be a sea or anything sea lake ocean yeah so that answer will be primary sector priest comes under the tertiary sector because they do, doesn't do production they don't grow anything they just take everything right so it comes under the tertiary sector and basket weaver comes under the secondary sector because they are the secondary pro producer we can say that means they take the uh, threads and all from the primary sector people then they start weaving here they start to produce the product so they come under the secondary sector then the gardener comes also in the secondary sector they will take the plants somewhere else and they will arrange the plants like a garden means in the garden they will arrange you all know right gardening gardening means like that they will do gardening gardener to garden okay so our right answer is primary sector fishery men fishermen sorry fisher men is the right answer so here only i end the session this video because it takes too long means you'll get bored so i'll uh, stop here and we'll meet in the next video please subscribe like share okay please do it please support the me who are new for the channel right please support them they also grow like that please support for me also subscribe it and share your uh, friends families and tell them to subscribe okay thank you